Hello, my name is Walter Wimberly, and I'm an assistant professor of computer science, and I'm here answering questions that a lot of new students or potential students might have about college and the computer science field. Today, I'm answering a question, hardware versus software. And a lot of times I get students who are just coming in, they're not quite sure, they had some questions about what do they really want to do with their career and they don't even know what hardware and software is and that is perfectly okay if you think about it school whether it's high school or college is the place for you to learn so don't feel bad about not knowing something instead use this as a way that you can learn about these topics so Real quickly, I do have a previous video that we've put in, and I'm going to put a link down in the description for you about computer science versus IT versus computer engineering. And you can look at that. But let's talk just real briefly about computer software versus hardware. Hardware is the physical components of your computer. And this can be your CPU, this can be your RAM, this can be your solid state drive or hard drive, your monitor, your mouse, your keyboard, maybe it's all combined because it's a laptop. That is your hardware, things that you can physically touch. Depending upon how you want to work with that, that might be an IT type of field or a computer engineering type of field that you might want to study if that's what you want to work on. And that's a typical thing that a lot of people think about because it is something that they can touch and it's very tactile. And software is going to be the computer programs that are going to run on the hardware. So you have to have software and hardware. You can't have only hardware. You can't have only software. Some people don't like the software idea because it is very abstract and you can't touch it, feel it, put it in your hands, etc. And that's okay. Other people like that because they don't care about what hardware they're using. They want to write a program. They want to solve a problem. And that's really what software is all about. It's about solving problems. And what types of problems are you going to be solving? And they could be business types of problems. They can be uh, education. They can be problems that are kind of esoteric and weird out there that we might run into and computer science is great at those and whether you're looking at something like blockchain for things like Bitcoin and other types of digital currency or you're talking about being able to sort and search items faster for example a search engine on Google or an internal search engine you have to build for your company you're working for all those types of things are all software and they're very important you can't use them without hardware though. And so I don't want to discourage that. You have to have a little bit of hardware knowledge just so you know how to write the software. But in computer science, you will find that 95 plus percent of your time is spent in a software mode and our hardware is just a tool that we use. I like to relate to it if I'm thinking about a carpenter. And a carpenter might be building a bookcase or a table and they're going to use a saw, they're going to use a drill, they're going to use those types of tools, but they are tools that they use. The knowledge of how to build that bookcase, or that table, or whatever it is they're building, that is their knowledge base. And that's what us as computer scientists think about and do. We look at the knowledge base that we have, we use hardware as a tool to build something. So that's a good example that you might see in the real world except for computer scientists it's a little more abstract because you can't see a finished result you see the res results of what we've done instead and that is all done through software 